Hi and welcome back to Lightscribe.tv. In this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, the simple labeler with Windows 8.1. If you've seen the um, other video regarding using the um, programs off a USB stick, this is the next stage on should you wish to actually put them into the um, program files of your uh, Windows 8.1 um, computer. So let's just um, have a look where these if, if they were to um, install in the normal way they would end up in the program files brackets um, x86 now as you can see I have no light scribe um, boulders in here but if you were to if you had a Windows 7 PC for instance and you looked in that you would find on in um, in this program, in program files here, you would find uh, if you had the system, if you had the simple labeler installed, it would have um, a folder called Lightscribe, inside which is the uh, simple labeler. And if you had the template labeler installed, you would have a folder called Lightscribe template labeler. It's actually called that. So, first of all, I'm going to install in, in the inverted commas. Um, the simple labeler. And quite simply, as you can see, there's the folder. I'll open it up so you can see what we've got. We've got the uh, common file files, you've got the simple labeler, and you've got um, a license, which doesn't make any difference for all sense and purposes here. And inside here, we've got the actual um, program. So if I close that again, and then quite simply, what I'm going to do is drag it from the desktop. Um, by the way, if you haven't seen the other video, you can download um, these files um, from the links that will be below this web, um, this video. Um, what they actually are, I mean, I, I mentioned you would find this on Windows 7. Well, these are the installation files I have on my in, in my Windows 7 PC. I've just copied the, the entire folder and um, zip that up and put it on a server so you can download it and that's what you put in here you don't have to install in the traditional way because Windows 8.1 won't let you do that um, and again sorry to maybe labor the point but if you didn't realize that the reason this is the case is because HP um, stopped supporting Lightscribe um, back in December uh, 2013 and in fact the last updates we have for any of the um, software from them was March of that year so we're looking at two years plus probably depending on when you're when you're watching this video um, ago since we've had that. and that was pre Windows 8.1 so that's why the file files don't readily um, install on Windows 8.1 anyway without further ado take this and quite simply just drop it there because it's a system folder it'll ask me all sorts of questions whether I want to do it right now so we've got that in there um, so let's have a look now you've got two choices here um, you can go into the file file each time which I'm sure you won't want to do when you want to run it or you can quite simply right click the exe part of the file okay and it's got down there I don't know if it's visible on this now because it's just gone below the screen but there's a let's see if I can no I can't really move it very easily so you'll have to take my word for it underneath um, copy there's one that says create shortcut and if I do that that creates a shortcut there um, there are other times and I don't know why it didn't do that this time but um, there are times when it will actually say do you want to do this to the desktop now just drag that and put it on your desktop. Let's close this down for the time being and pull that back into the middle. So if you click on that, lo and behold, and I'm only moving this because it's easier for me to see, and um, we're good to go. My light sky drive has been recognized, so you quite simply are good to go. Just use the labels as you would put your text in and um, all is good so 
no complicated installation, but you have to put it into that folder file. So yes, I want to quit. So I'll take that and put it down there. Thank you very much. Obviously, another thing you can do, which actually I'm going to I'm going to do it so it's visible. I've got to do it there. Uh, rename the shortcut because I don't know about you, but I really don't like the word shortcut on shortcuts, and that sounds a bit anal in some respects, but I just don't like it. Simple labeler. Um, and there we are. And just for those of you who've never done that, they are, it makes no difference to the function of the thing. Um, so, next one is the template labeler. And, um, well, actually, I was going to say I'll cover that in another video, but there's really no point. It's just as easy to do it in this one. So, if I open and let's move that back up there. Program files. So as we see, we've got our light scribe there. So this time we we take the template labeler folder and do the same with that. Yep. Okay, it's all good. Let's just see what we've got in there. And there we have everything. And same thing again. Create shortcut and drag shortcut out there, close that down, whoops, yeah I probably did, I've done that too many times, deleted it instead of, there we are, template labeler, create shortcut, I remember this time not to delete it, but rename it. So, click on that, and here we go. It always takes a little longer. So we're good. Move it over there so it can. See a bit better. Pull that up so it's in the window. Pick a template. Add your text. That's my drive recognized. We're all good. And um, there we are. Really, it's that simple. Um, seems to be actually labour the point a bit really. Um, quite simply download the files and put them in your um, program files there and you'll be good to go. As long as you got, and I've reiterated this, but as long as you can install the, the control panel, the system software, get the control panel and make sure your LightScribe drive is available, then there's no reason this won't work. Well, thanks very much and um, I hope that solved a problem for a lot of people. I know I get a lot of uh, questions about 8.1 and um, the free software and can it be used um, well this is one way I found to do it so enjoy thanks very much bye for now